Welcome to the 2016 Rally America National Championship, where the best stage rally drivers compete on some of the toughest stage roads in North America. Over eight rounds of racing through the snow, mud, dust, and forest. Airing coast to coast across the United States, only one radio show is bringing you the action. This is Rally America Radio, powered by the Down and Dirty Radio Show, and we're your home for coverage of the 2016 Rally America National Championship. Game on. Jim Beaver with Rally America Radio coming at you here from the first service of day number two of the 2016 STPR Rally. We're here in Germania, Pennsylvania, up on the side of a mountain where there's this uh, service park here. Absolutely a crazy backdrop. Lots of tall trees and uh, temperatures absolutely humid. Getting kind of getting kind of crazy out here, but uh, looks like David Higgins pulling in, and uh, we've heard uh, that Travis Pastrana uh, up and over. Uh, in his uh, in his Subaru SRT USA car, so uh, still getting word on that. But it sounds like Travis Pastrana, Christian Edstrom are out of the rally. But uh, we're going to see if we can catch up with some of these drivers, find out uh, what's going on here uh, out on the stages uh, to start uh, day number two of the STPR rally. All right, I got David Higgins here, just finishing up uh, first couple of stages, day number two, and uh, kind of feel uh, pretty happy, you guys, out front now. And uh, you know, how how's everything with the car? Yeah, no, it's good. Um, we've got a small brake issue where a um, little bit of vibration, so probably just a, a rotor that's um, that's got a little bit of a maybe out of balance or something. But stage was, was a lot drier than what we expected. A few wet places under the trees, so they're, they're just tricky stages. But we had a good run through both of them. Just tried not to do anything silly and just um, try and bring it home. Really, but still a long afternoon to go. Yeah, I've got uh, got uh, quite a few stages left. Uh, kind of capping things off. You know, you got that one, uh, you know, twenty plus mile mile stage. How do you attack something like that? Um, yeah, you know, just just do what we do. Is just focus um, on the thing. You know, if you're in some of the position we've been in before, it could be a lot different to what it it, it is at this very moment. But you know, the, a lot can happen by there. So you know, if you're if you're in a, a lead, you just got to go there and drive clean. If you're coming from behind, it's it's balls to the wall and see what you can make up. So you know, I'm looking forward to it. It's a nice stage. It's um, Always nice to finish with a bit of a challenge at the end, and that stage is certainly going to be one of those. All right. Well, thanks a lot, David. Good luck. Thanks, Jim. All right. We've got Nick Roberts here uh, just pulling into uh, first service day number two and uh, still sitting pretty solid in, uh, you know, in super production with the lead and, uh, you know, in an overall podium spot. Yeah, we gained, uh, I think, five seconds on Troy the first stage of the day and then eight seconds on the second stage of the day. So, you know, we're out here. We're having fun, taking it easy. The road, the first stage of the day was definitely pretty tricky. Um, the second stage was a bit loose, So, but we're looking forward to it. The, the rest of the day here, I mean, these are just terrific roads. So I'm excited to get back out there, have some fun, and just uh, go flat out through the woods. So I'm looking forward to service now and get a little break. It's definitely a warm out. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Nick, and, uh, you know, good luck the rest of the day. All right. Thank you. All right. We got Cameron Steely here, uh, you know, pulling into uh, first uh, first service day number two. And, uh, you know, you had uh, had a little bit of lead over uh, over Millen. What's, uh, what's the status now, uh, you know, in day number two? I think we're still doing pretty good. Uh, a co-driver and I are pretty happy with our times. Uh, we're not sure. We haven't compared yet. Millen just got in, so we'll have to see what he did. But, uh, I mean, it felt good, felt smooth, and uh, smooth is fast. So I'm pretty excited. I think we'll still maintain where we're at. So, Awesome. You know, what's, uh, what's, what's the plans for the rest of the day? I know, obviously, super specials to cap things off. Got a long 20-plus mile stage and, uh, you know, a lot of other stuff mixed in. Yeah, uh, I know there's some... You know, some good long stages. The 20 miler is going to be interesting. You know, it's it's 20 miles, so you got to stay focused. But it's a fast stage, so we should finish that one pretty quickly. So hopefully, it doesn't take us too long. And just keep it on the road. Uh, that's the biggest thing, because I mean, yeah, you know, the roads are narrow and fast, and there's a couple tricky spots. So right now, it's just maintaining what we're doing and staying on the road. And I'm pretty excited because you know we got past the first stage today, and I haven't done that in like three years. And I just want to finish this rally because I haven't done that ever. So <laughs> it'd be nice to just finish right now. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Cameron. Thank you. All right, we got Ryan Millen here uh, finishing things up this morning on day number two. And, uh, you know, take us through those morning stages. Uh, they were slippery, really slippery. I can't quite get the Maxxis tires to kind of hook up on it. Um, I don't know. I don't. We got the softest compound, but I'm looking at them and just seeing, like, no tire wear. And, and I just, I don't know, I just felt really uncomfortable. And the road's just so slippery. And then, you know, seeing Travis off in the trees straight away, it was like, oh, that made me, like, reaffirm um, that it is slippery. So um, challenging, that's for certain. So, how do you uh, how do you attack this uh, you know this afternoon stages? I don't know. We've lost a lot of time to Cameron, so um, you know at this point we're pretty safe in second, and you know he's got a pretty safe in first. So it's kind of I think just playing it smart and keeping out of the trees and staying on the road, and you know kind of getting there. 
All right. Well, thanks a lot, and uh, good luck. Thank you. All right, we got Steve Larosa here pulling in in, uh, in the Fiesta ST. How's uh, how's everything out there, Steve? Good. Stages are really fun. Uh, you know, the good news is we had our times from last year on those stages, and and we beat them quite handily. Uh, the first stage we made it about three miles right right before where Travis went off, and it it went into a misfire mode again. So we limped the last four and a half five miles through that stage and uh, reflashed the computer. And the second stage seemed to run okay. Uh, the guys are going to work here at service on uh, changing a couple things on the program and maybe changing up some spark plugs a little bit and see what we can do. But, I mean, I'm happy with the times. I'm happy we beat our times from last year. Hopefully we're still hovering around third and we made up time on that little Honda B-Spec. And if we did that, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Steve. Good luck the rest of the day. All right. Thank you, Jim. All right, got Troy Miller here. Uh, you know, take us uh, take us through those opening stages, day number two. Good, we were having some fun. We were. I really enjoy ASIF. That's that's one of my favorite stages of the whole series. So that was a ton of fun. We ran into some brake bias issues on stage two, and uh, there was a right five over three hundred, then tightens two. We came in a bit too hot, and with the brake bias, this back end came around, and we uh, nailed a tree with the rear of the car. It's the first time I've ever done that. So that was that was an experience. Uh, it felt pretty hard, but there's really no damage to the car, so that's good. Uh, we, I think we're, I think we're doing pretty good on time, so that wasn't too bad. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Troy, and uh, good luck the rest of the day. Thank you. All right, we got street bike Tommy here finishing up uh, the morning stages, and I got to say, man, car looking sharp. Uh, you guys just keep putting in, uh, putting in the miles, and uh, you know, knocking that time. Travis, uh, he's, he's looking, looking like he may, uh, may uh, have the edge on him at this point, buddy. The funny thing is, you just said I'm here with street bike Tommy, and that's funny. Where's Trav's interview? It's, it's weird. Did you already get him? Did I saw Higgins go out? Did. Did, did Tra- Tra- I got Tra- I got Travis this morning, oh. but uh, yeah, I, I, no, no, not here in uh, Germania. So uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, he took a detour. I heard. That's weird. I could. I think I saw him. Oh, did you? I, he, he mooned me. <laughs> Real story. It's, it's like I hope it turns out on the uh, on the action cam because uh, yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. So seriously, how was the morning stages, man? Uh, you know, you feel, getting the feel for the car now? Uh, very first one was really, really slow, and then my last one was medium. So we're picking up pace, but just the, the main focus is keeping the car together. So uh, you know, I know, obviously, uh, you know, got some long, long stages. Uh, you know, later on, you, your endurance up for it? Yeah, I don't. That seat, man. Ugh. My seat doesn't fit, so my hips are uh, hating my guts. But yeah, of course, I got the endurance. Yeah. Which, I got like a three foot pry bar over there in uh, you know in the rental car. It will just pop you out of the seat next go around. We're gonna need it. Uh, Me and the car are one for real. Yeah. Well, I, I know the breakfast of champions you had earlier today, dude. That's that's got to have you on point for the whole day. Yeah, you got it's it's all about starting the most important meal of the day. So I loaded up at breakfast. It's true. All right. Good luck the rest of the rally, buddy. We'll catch up with you next service. Thanks, brother. And that is it. From the first service of day number two of the 2016 STPR Rally, David Higgins now your overall leader here. Travis Pastrana, big news, he is out of the rally. Him and Christian, Christian Edstrom uh, not going to be able to continue. And, uh, man, uh, lots of storylines here. Sounds like Street Bike Tommy has inherited the B-Spec lead at this point over second place or over Jordan Guitar who uh, ended up finding his way into a tree. We're still awaiting that car to come into service. Uh, running a bit down at this point. Don't know if it's repairable, if they'll be able to finish. But Street Bike Tommy taking that uh, B-spec lead currently. Kiana Erickson Chang sounds like she's hot on his heels taking a lot of time out of Tommy on those uh, last couple of stages. So uh, it's uh, it's shaping up to be a B-spec war. Uh, David Higgins uh, got a solid lead out there in the overall super production. Man, oh man. Uh, Nick Roberts having a solid effort. Troy Miller having some struggles, but he's solid on the podium as well. And then two-wheel drive, Cameron Steely looking sharp, but uh, you never never know what can happen with Ryan Millen, who's taken the last two victories hot on his heels. That battle has uh, been great all year long in two-wheel drive and uh, shaping up to be another good one here at the STPR Rally. My host, Jim Beaver, been great uh, coming at you here from the first service. We'll be here at Germania for the second service, and then later on tonight, uh, we're moving on to uh, the fairgrounds in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. We'll have another update there, as well as 
those uh, podium interviews later on tonight. And uh, don't forget, uh, we've also got that live stream. We're going to be coming at you live from the fairgrounds for those super specials later on tonight as well. So thanks for staying tuned. Give me a follow at Jim Beaver 15 on Instagram and Twitter, facebook.com slash down and dirty show. And, uh, you know, definitely uh, follow those Rally America accounts as well, posting all kinds of content. We've also got a new Rally America Snapchat feed uh, that we're updating all kinds of pictures and photography on there as well. So uh, make sure and uh, give us a follow. And uh, keep up to date on the 2016 STPR Rally, round number five of the 2016 Rally America National Championship.